I've said it several times before, I'm on a journey to create my best work and for that I need the best tools that complement my story. It's why I choose Capture One Pro over and over again for the work that I do. It adapts to how I work and not the other way around. So when the team at Capture One reached out to partner with me to make a video about their new version and features, I decided to take it up a notch. I'm gonna show you how Capture One Pro 23 allows me to create my best work in the most demanding situations where I could rely on it to perform no matter where I was. Oh, and I'll show you some of my unreleased styles that I cooked up specifically for this project. I spent three weeks traveling across Tamil Nadu, India with the sole purpose of capturing meaningful photographs. In this time, I'd go on to snap about 4,000 images and for a project like this, I want to spend the least amount of time editing my work. This might sound counterintuitive, but the reality is that the less time I spend behind the screen, the more time I have to be in the field creating. I've made numerous videos on Capture One Pro in the past that can get a complete beginner up to speed on how this app works. I'll talk about the key reasons why you'd want to switch, but the main thing I want to stress is that this application is built on a powerful but lightweight engine that works stupid fast. Browsing through thousands of 61 megapixel Leica files is a breeze here, which is not something I can say for most image editors. Capture One Pro 23 is one of the bigger recent releases and the theme seems to be focused on working faster and more efficiently. Let's start with styles. For my trip, I want to create a new set of looks that were tailored for the story I was trying to tell. With the new layered styles feature, you can work at an even more granular level where you can separate adjustments by layer and then have this breakdown saved in the style itself. What this means is that when you apply a look to an image, I can tone down things like contrast and color independently instead of lowering the entire style itself. This is huge. Over the course of three weeks, I conveniently built three new layered styles that move between greens, browns, and a monochrome look. These styles just made it easier to apply, adjust, and export. It was a game changer. Now, for anyone that upgrades to Capture One Pro 23 using my link and code below, you'll get my global styles pack and my three new layered styles that I created on this trip. All you have to do is upgrade, send me a DM on Instagram with your proof of purchase, please don't send me your serial number, and I'll send you a download link with the styles within 24 hours. That's it. Now, let's talk about some of the other upgrades. You have the new Smart Adjustments feature, which should make every wedding photographer cry tears of joy. You can adjust the white balance and exposure of a single image and then set it as a reference in the Smart Adjustments tool, then apply this reference to other images to get them to match better. This is a great precursor before you edit and apply styles because it gets images closer in line for a more accurate edit. Another game changer. Let me also mention one more thing, the new culling tool that is using some incredible smarts to group images based on similarity. You set the rating and let Capture One do the rest. Seriously, I wonder if this is witchcraft at this point. Now look, these are just some of the new features. The reality is that all of this sits on a massive list of key differentiators that make Capture One Pro the go-to software for my professional work. The main reasons why this application sits above the rest for me comes down to three things. First, you have the option to work in sessions where all of your files and adjustments live in a simple folder. You can move this folder wherever you want and all of your edits move along with it, making for easier project management. You then have some of the best tools to manage color and curves, where you can build your custom workspace to control the look of your image the way you like. It's a level of ease and detail that you just won't find anywhere else. And of course, there's the ability to tether and remotely operate your camera. Capture One Pro, at least in my opinion, provides the best experience for tethered photography. They recently added this ability to wirelessly tether some cameras as well, and I seriously, seriously hope they throw some Leica cameras on the list in the months to come. Oh, and if you wanna learn how any of these tools or features works, take a look at my Capture One Pro tutorial playlist where I curated a suite of five minute videos that make all these tools a breeze to understand.
there's a reason why we pick the tools that we do because it's not really about the studio gigs the fashion gigs the runway gigs the award shows the appearances like that pays the bills this kind of work is what excites me the most that gives me the most fulfillment and when i am investing my time my money my resources and leveraging my network it's important that i can get the job done and if you're someone that wants the most that you 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 work on a regular cycle you're constantly shooting and you constantly want to look to elevate your imagery i think this is the only thing that you can invest in when it comes to your image workflow when the stakes are at the highest, you want the tools you can count on most. I love technology, and I love the attention to detail that brands iterate on over the years. And when I upgrade, I do it based on the specific needs of my job. With Capture One, I know I can count on it when it matters most, when there are no second chances and you have to deliver for the most important clients. This is an application I was using long before the developers knew who the hell I was and something I don't see myself ever leaving. Again, if you're looking to jump on board, take a look at some of my tutorials and see if this is right for you. And if you feel like you're more than ready to dive in, consider using my link to save on your license and send me a DM with your proof of purchase so I can send you a set of 13 custom styles that will make your editing much more fun. Anyway, I've used up my time for this video. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. I still do read everything you guys post down there. I'm having the time of my life creating my best work yet, and I can't wait to share more of it in the weeks to come. As always, my name's Gadgen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.